Hi there, everyone watching this. So I was going to talk a bit about the idea of resolutions and and what I do instead of resolutions. I mean, the idea of the New Year's resolution, I know it's, you know, uh, three weeks into January and it's a bit late to be talking about this, but whatever. Now let's talk about it when more or less everybody made a resolution has uh, admitted failure. And the whole resolution thing is sort of like this concrete, I will do this. And it's sort of like, I will make some fundamental change to my life. I will lose weight. I'll go to the gym. I will read a book a day. I will do, you know, all these sort of impossible tasks. And then basically we're setting ourselves up for failure. And resolutions basically by, by now, everybody's resolution, everybody's made a resolution. It was actually half serious about it. Uh, they failed. And, you know, gyms are happy with all that spare money coming in that isn't going towards uh, having to actually give anybody service for it but anyway some years back uh cgb gray talked about this idea of creating a theme for year and i've really enjoyed the idea of having a theme for the year and i did it i don't know six seven years ago and due to various reasons um it didn't work out in the ways that i wanted but it's in last year 2022 that i really adopted it and my theme for the year was continued recovery and because I'm having to recover from the spinal surgery of almost two years ago and um, boy, oh boy, oh my God, is it taking me forever to get my body to get even beginning to be close back to where it was. And yes, I wasn't in great shape, but I could at least do things. I'm in significantly better shape now than I was two years ago or four years ago or even 10 years ago but I can't move my body in the ways that I wanted to. I have to learn so much more because I'd lost my proprioception to my body and I need to re relearn all that. And so that's part of the continued recovery. The other part of continued recovery is uh, my mental health. And I had depression for, for decades, unrelenting, endless depression. Um, and that came to an end right at the end of 2021, December of 2021. And basically, since then, I've my underlying mood has been happiness, which I love. But I still need to work on ensuring that I keep that, and that um, that I build on my good practices and habits that create um, better things for my mental health. And one of the things I thought about a couple of different ideas of themes in that, um, but ultimately the, the one that I've chosen is um, embrace the positive. I want to look for the positive in the things that are around me, not to look what's wrong with things, but to look what's right with things and to, to celebrate and marvel and be in awe of what's good. And that's my theme for the year is embrace the positive because ultimately embracing the positive really fits well together with being happy. And let's see what happens if I don't look at all the, the shit and the crap and look at what could be going wrong or what is going wrong and just embrace the positive so for me that's the theme for this year and it means that i write about it i think about it and it's a simple enough phrase embrace the positive that it's in the background of my mind all the time i'm thinking about it often during the day and i'm going mm, I'm getting negative the bernard there and then it's embrace the positive what's positive about this so if somebody is um total jerk, asshole, problem, etc. It's embrace the positive. It's like, you know, it sucks to be them if that's how they feel about life and the world around them. And I know that isn't a very positive thing, but for me, it's at least I can look at it and go, I'm sorry that you feel that way, but there are so many good things in your life that you should look at them and just point out what's great about stuff around them. And just telling people that I know, telling people I know, hey, I value this about you. This is really great. You're a great person for X, Y, Z, whatever. And to me, it, it feels good being able to tell people what I see that's positive. It feels good getting up and going, wow, it's a great day, even if it's raining, because it is a great day. And it's imbuing everything in my life. And I'm journaling about it. And I think it's good for me for 2023 
to be the year where my theme is embrace the positive. Anyway, hopefully you thought that was interesting. If not, you didn't need to watch this, but hey, it's your choice. Have a good day. Choose something about your life to, to have as your theme because it doesn't have to be January 1st. Having a theme for a period of time, it's a good idea and it helps with the self-reflection. Bye.